guys, welcome to your bridge and bloom painting class. In front of you, you should have your canvas long ways like so. Also, be sure to have a cup of water, your large brush and your small brush, a paper towel. Be sure you have your bridge template or your little cutout, a pencil, and be sure you have all of your paints, pink, white, dark green, light green, blue, brown, black. I do also recommend a plate uh, for this uh, class uh, just so we can mix some colors on it as well. If you do not have all those materials, you're welcome to push pause um, on this video and then continue with us whenever you're ready. All right, artists, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we are gonna do is we are going to wash and dry both of our brushes by just gently twirling them around like so, making sure they're nice and clean to wake them up a little bit. Once you're done twirling them around in your cup of water, gently pat both brushes onto your paper towel like so, so you get them nice and clean. The first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna lay out our bridge on our canvas so about halfway up is where the bottom of our bridge is gonna um, kind of sit. So about halfway up, so we have plenty of room for, uh, excuse me, to uh, build the sky and the water. So let's see, I'm gonna kind of use my, my hand. So from here to here, from here to here, maybe move it a little bit further up. So the bottom, up here lines up the bottom to up here so make sure they're about the same from here to here from the bottom and then from here to here the bottom then once I'm done with that I can go ahead and outline my whole bridge shape and it doesn't matter if it's this way or flip the other way it's gonna be all the same just be sure you're gently holding your cutout So about the same distance from the bottom of your bridge to the top of your canvas and the bottom of the, your bridge to the bottom part of your canvas. We can just release. And then go ahead and line these two up and draw a line to connect these two as well so the sides get connected. So then we have a nice bridge shape, perfect. Once you are done with that, you're going to continue to use your pencil. We're going to make a line from um, this left to this right part of our bridge, like so. So we're going to connect from here to here. And then we're going to come in a little bit on the left side. I'm going to make a little bit of a mark. I'm going to come in a little bit on the right side, about the same distance for each one. And we're going to come out wide and wide on either side. So I'm coming in just a little bit and marking the spot, marking the spot. And as the water gets closer to us, it widens out. So I'm going to go out a little bit on both sides. So the closer it gets, the wider it gets to us. So we just pretty much laid out our painting for today. So we'll have our sky, our bridge, our water, and our land. Perfect, like so. Awesome. If it's not perfectly laid out, not a problem. We'll be painting over it anyway, so don't feel like it has to be perfect. Just be sure your water is uh, uh, widening as it gets closer to the bottom of the canvas. And there you go, and about the same way from here to here to here to here. You've made your two lines. Once you're done with that, you can put your um, template and your pencil aside. We won't need them anymore. If you're still working on this, you are welcome to push pause on the video and join us for the next part whenever you're ready. All right, so for the next part of our video, we are gonna be painting the water with blue and then white. So we are gonna 
grab our big brush and we're going to go into our dark blue. And just in this area, we're going to be painting side to side with our brush. And I'm just kind of flicking my brush too. I'm just kind of sweeping at the end of my brush stroke. It's not going to completely be covered in blue. I'm going to still have some spots where it's kind of peeking a little bit of our white canvas. And I'm even going to continue this on the bottom part where it feels like the water kind of turns over. Don't go past where the lines are that we made. Just kind of keep it in that little section. Might even get a little bit wider. And I'm just kind of flicking side to side. There's still a little bit of white peeking through. Side to side, my lines are nice and smooth, no big bumps. I'm gonna go over any big bumps. And then without cleaning my brush, I'm gonna dip my big brush into the white. I'm gonna tap some off on my paper towel so I don't have too much on there. And just like a little bit of a white, I'll just sweep some in there as well. I can always go back for more. Tap, tap, tap on my paper towel, and then just go over the blue, maybe go out a little bit further where there's still white canvas peeking through. White, tap on your paper towel, and then just add some white sweeps on top, and maybe some in the areas that you haven't painted on on the sides. You can have shorter sweeps with longer sweeps, a nice little combination of both. And once you have a good amount of blue and white on there, you can wash, uh, put, excuse me, you can dip your brush in the water, tap it on your paper towel about five or six times, then go over both, just little sweeps from side to side. And that'll help the blue and the white kind of work together a little bit better. You wanna slowly fill in that space too. Gonna get in there best I can. Coming in a little bit on either side. So I just added some water on my brush to help my paint kind of work together better. The blue and white are working together a little bit better and to help move it a little bit better too. I see that it's moving a little bit easier on my canvas now that my paint is a little bit more wet. And I'm just going over my pencil line just a little bit. I'll build some grass on it a little bit later, but I want to make sure I'm filling in all that water space. And then once I'm done, um, I am going to just kind of pat some of the blue and white off on my paper towel. And I'll go back to more blue. Maybe just make it a little bit darker here and there. Maybe add some white to it to add some lighter areas as well. Just kind of going back in there and adding some darker blue on top. I pretty want, much want my dark blue, my white, and my blue and white blend to all be working together some on the bottom and if you want it to be darker um, you can let it dry for a little bit longer to where your dark blue is building on top a little bit more if you want it to be lighter you can let it dry a little bit more and then have the white sitting on top a little bit uh, more once it's dry so it's not blending in as much but I just went back to dark blue white just added some sweeps And having all three work together. My blend, my dark blue, my white. Making sure that I don't have too much on my brush and I'm just doing it side to side sweeping. Coming in from the left side, the right side, some in the middle. to a point that you like. Perfect. 
All right. Be sure again, you've added some to the bottom part as well. And whenever you're done, you do not have to clean your brush. You do not have to clean your brush because we're gonna use that blue and white to paint the sky and underneath our bridge as well. All right. So take your time with your water. If you're still working on it, um, you are welcome to push pause um, on the video. But whenever you're ready, you're gonna paint your sky a light blue. I'm not gonna even clean my brush. I'm gonna go into my white because I want a really light blue for my sky. And I'm gonna keep above my bridge right here. I'm just gonna go side to side. And I want it to be a super light blue, so I'm gonna go back for more white to really lighten it up. So be sure you have a nice light blue. And again, I'm just kind of sweeping side to side, keeping above the line to my bridge. Going back for more white. And I'll probably let this dry for a little bit and I'll add more white in just a moment. Let's add some. Go over this line just so I know where to stop. And I'm just kind of sweeping with my big brush side to side. Oops, excuse me. Bring some of those lines in from left to right, keeping my sky nice and smooth, just kind of flicking back and forth with my brush. You can go back to more white. Can I get down here a little bit? Now I have less and less blue on my brush, so I will go back and lighten that area up with white in just a moment. I'll let it dry for a little bit. It's kind of painting side to side. It's okay if you go over your bridge a little bit. You'll paint brown on top of it later. Maybe go back now that I've given it some time to try and lighten it up. Make sure they're pretty similar. Nice blue sky. I'll even paint the top part with some more white on my big brush. So where my canvas kind of curls over, I'll add more white. To my brush, I'm just adding white, no more blue. All right. This part, next part is kind of tricky. So once you're done with your sky up here, on the top, underneath your bridge, you are gonna paint Kind of where it turns over from the left bottom part of your bridge, I'm going to make a little line and I'll paint all the space above it. So where the bottom of my bridge kind of hits, I'm going to make a line and then paint all that space above it blue. So bottom of my bridge, make a line to the left and then build my light blue, the very top left corner. Again, if you get some on your bridge, not a problem. We'll paint brown over it later. Be careful. And we'll do the same thing on the other side of our bridge too, where we bring in some of that blue. I'm just going back to more white to lighten it up. Just kind of sweeping side to side. If you feel like your blue and your white are not working together too well, you can always add water to your brush, tap it on your paper towel, kind of have them blend together a little bit better. Just from left to right, slowly filling in that sky. And then again, the bottom of my bridge to the right of my canvas, and then I'll work my way up with this light blue. Only going back for more white on my brush.
back and grab some of that blue to make this side a little bit darker. And take your time with this. Be sure your blue looks nice and smooth. You've gotten into all those white spaces where your water and your sky sit. Perfect. All right. Uh, take your time with this, but once you're done, you can wash and dry your big brush because we are going to continue to use our big brush and we are going to start painting our brown uh, bridge. So I washed. I'm going to even hug my big brush with my paper towel by wrapping it around making sure all that blue comes off. It's a really thick blue. Perfect. All right. Uh, for our bridge, we go from a darker brown to a lighter brown because more sun is hitting our bridge on top. So we're gonna go from dark to light. You do have some black on your plate. Um, what I'll have you do is grab your big brush, nice and clean, brown, and on your big brush, so just dip into the brown and a dot of black. So I just barely put it in the black, just a dot of black. And then on the bottom part, um, I'm gonna have mostly this dark brown. I'm not gonna go past the top of the arch with this dark brown. I'm just gonna go side to side with a little bit of brown and a little bit of black. I'm staying pretty much on the bottom half and I can always go back for more and I'm just making little mini sweeps side to side. So brown, a dot of black, and I'm just kind of keeping to the bottom. Area. And I'll outline it in just a second to kind of clean it up, but we want to kind of create those choppy little movements with our brush first. So short little choppy movements, side to side, carry it over to the side. Don't worry about getting it perfect on the edges. We are uh, going to go in there and outline it later. So choppy short movements, side to side, making sure I fill in that area to the right. And then the same on the left side, brown, a dot of black. I'm not going above the top of this arch right here. I'm just slow, fast movements. Excuse me, uh, fast movements left to right. Excuse me. Left to right. With our big brush, choppy, choppy. Left to right. And you want it to be that dark brown. So a little bit of black choppy, short movements side to side. Give it a little bit of texture to your bridge. And again, don't worry about it being perfect on the edges right here. We'll clean that up in just a moment. careful of your blue you don't really want to get too close to your blues because they might be still a little bit wet so choppy choppy movements brown with a dot of black left to right and giving your bridge a little bit of a texture perfect i'm gonna stop at this point once you are done making those choppy movements and they're pretty full on the left on the right side then I do want you to outline all of your bridge with this darker brown that's on your brush be aware if any of your blue is shiny maybe give it another minute before you outline it um, but if you just want to watch for just a moment I'm gonna take my brown and black outline my bridge pretty much go over those pencil lines so 
my brush is kind of scraggly. I've been using it a lot, so I'm going to add a little bit of water to smooth out my brush and my paint. So use just a little bit of water to smooth it out. Get it moving a little bit better too. Go back to brown and a little bit of black. Continue to outline. I just want to get that shape of my bridge to be nice and clean. I might go back for a little bit more black. So I have a dark brown outline all around my bridge. I can go back in there and kind of mess with this a bit more. And don't clean your brush just yet. We're going to add a lighter brown on top in just a moment. So I went in there and I outlined all of my bridge, pretty much where the pencil mark was before, with brown and black on my brush. Making sure there's no white space between these two. Going in, kind of break up that line work just a little bit. So you can see a perfect outline. I kind of went over it and broke it up. So you don't see my perfect outline, but it's nice and clean on the edges. All right, and I'm not gonna even clean my brush so it still has that brown and black after I outlined it. I'm gonna find a nice little area of white and then I'm gonna pat some on my paper towel. You don't have too much on there. I'm gonna overlap over the previous brown just a little bit and then I'll move my way up. I'll do the same thing to the other side. I'll grab a little bit of white, overlap, my previous brown just a little bit and work my way up. And I want to completely cover up this top half. So white, maybe tap some on your paper towel, overlap a little bit and then work your way up. And try to break up that outline that we did earlier too. So kind of like the same idea as before, come down a little bit on the darker brown and then you can work your way up with these choppy short lines. So a little bit of white Tap on your paper towel, overlap over the previous brown, choppy little movements side to side. Go over your line work just a little bit so you don't see that perfect outline. Go over this just a little bit. White. Tap on your paper towel. Side to side. Be sure you're coming down a little bit into your darker brown so it doesn't look stripey. You want a nice little blend of the two in the middle. So a nice blend of the dark brown and the light brown in the middle. Short little choppy movements. Like so. You can always go back to more brown. You can always go to more black, more white. Just kind of make it work uh, for your painting. Perfect. And then take your time with this. You can always go back and touch things up. But once you're done, you can go ahead and wash and dry your brush. And we're gonna keep using our big brush. So wash and dry your big brush. Even hug it, make sure all the brown and white is off of it. Oops, excuse me. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use our dark green and fill in our grassy area. Uh, again, be aware if your uh, blue is still really wet, wet, maybe give it some more time before you go in there. Uh, but I'm gonna dip my big brush, nice clean big brush in my dark green. And then I'm gonna go in there and I'm just gonna just kind of, again, move my brush really fast, 
side to side, kind of like how we were doing in the bridge area. So dark green, choppy little short movements. Be aware if your brown is still wet too. Side to side. And we want to slowly fill up all of the space with this dark green. Choppy little movements, left to right, with my dark green. And then I can start overlapping a little bit over my blue once it's dry, not so shiny. So going back to more green, fast little choppy movements, side to side. I can get closer to my the brown bridge as it dries as well. But I want to cover up all the space right here. I want to see any white. I'm just going to move in my brush side to side. And on the right side, I do want to finish off the bottom right where there's still some white to the right of my water and even to the right of my canvas, where it kind of curves over, all with dark green, big brush, short choppy movements with my big brush. Right to left, left to right, slowly filling up that space. I'll do the same thing to the left side. So side to side, filling up all that white space that I have left with this dark green. Choppy short movements, be aware of any sh wet shiny paints. Curl it to the left and to the bottom where there's still some white. all that white space. Be sure the left side and the white, uh, right side look um, pretty similar in your brush movements. Be sure that they work well together. If you have shorter ones, be sure you have shorter choppy movements here. If you have a little bit longer of a sweep, should have longer sweeps on the left. So your right side needs to work well with your left side. So now we have all of our background filled in and we'll start building on top with our florals in just a moment. and dry your brush.
Before we fully go into our florals up here, we are going to build a little bit of greenery up here for our flowers to grow on top of. So um, we are going to use our big brush still. Again, you make sure you've washed and dried it. And be sure you're done with this bottom part. You're welcome to push pause on the video um, before you move on. So let's kind of do a quick little run through. Perfect. So before we fully go into our florals up here, we do want to build a little bit of greenery for them to build on. Um, I'm going to start with my nice clean big brush and I'm going to add a little bit of green and a little bit, uh, excuse me, a little bit of dark green and a little bit of light green at the same time. So dark green, light green. And down here on the left and on the right, I'm just going to use the side of my brush. I'm just going to move it around just a little bit, kind of facing to in. So again, I'm going to have a little bit of green and light green on the side of my brush. I'm just going to push down on it, kind of almost like a stamp. Each push is kind of like a little leafy area. You can always go back for more dark green, more light green. Just a little bit of greenery working in here. Making sure that you have both um, dark green and light green working together down here. So the side of my brush and just kind of building some greenery coming towards the water almost like so. Kind of working in like so. And also on the right side, I'm going to go back for more dark green and light green on the side of my brush. I'm going to build a little bit of patchy dark green and light green, just pushing down, coming up with it, almost like a bit like sun rays coming up from it. It's like that. So I have one, two, three little patchy areas coming in that way, coming in that way, and then building up. I'm going to use that same idea again, green, dark green and light green on the side of my brush. And I'm going to have some greenery coming again towards the left. So if you just want to watch just for a moment, I'm just pushing down the side of my brush. I'm adding in a lot. I'm just kind of coming in there, maybe bringing it down a little bit. Going in there and adding dark green and light green. And make this one win a little bit but my pink um, flowers are going to be sitting a little bit more on top of them here but I do want to get a nice full area of dark greens and light greens kind of coming in on the left side getting it pretty full do this for a little bit more dark green and light green coming in over this side a little bit more full just kind of pushing down on it Maybe adding some down here too again over here it'll be more of the pink so I'm just leaving that alone but I do want to add some greenery up here though on the left side, I'll kind of have it coming in a little bit too, but dark green, light green on the side of my brush. Start down here and I'll just kind of push down on my brush. Kind of coming in towards that area. Dark green, light green on the side. Putting some here too, nice and full as well. Again, I'll go in there and build my trees and my florals on top of it in just a moment. But dark green, light green, I'm just kind of 
pushing down on the side. Some come in a little bit more. Perfect. Just building two areas of greens right here to the left and to the right, saving a lot of room on the very left side, on the very right side for my pinks. And take your time with that you can kind of looks kind of funny right now but when we go in there and add our pinks it'll make sense um, all right and once you're done with your greenery you can wash and dry your brush and we'll start building our florals on top so i'm going to wash and dry my big brush be sure it's really clean so you can wrap your big brush with your paper towel get it nice and clean And then with our big brush, we're gonna kind of have the same idea. We're gonna dip the side of it into the pink and then even a tiny bit of white. So the pink and the white are gonna be working together. And I'm gonna just start out to the edges. I'm gonna give my green some time to dry so I don't wanna go too close into them. But I'm just gonna be jumping it around in all types of directions. And I'm gonna fill in this blue spot over here in the corner. So pink white just kind of push down be kind of careful of those wet green paint to areas and I'll come down even a little bit make my petals slowly fill up the space you can just go back to more pink if you want that to be a bit darker can go back to more white if you want it to be a little bit lighter but you do want the two of them to be working together I'll work my way down just a little bit and then i'll build over my greenery once it dries a little bit more but the more you fill it up the more um, sense it's gonna make kind of come in a little bit more so pink white if you want to be darker add more pink if you want it to be lighter add more white just kind of using the side of the brush and have it coming in then you can slowly start overlapping over the green once it's dried a little bit okay you can have some coming down like so same on the other side i can have a little bit of pink and white Push down on my brush. Slowly filling up this space. Kind of overlapping over my bridge. Pink and white. Here. Be careful of your shiny green paint. If your greenery is still shiny, maybe give it some more time to dry. But then you can start overlapping over them a little bit once they're a little bit more dry. More pink and white. Just push down on my brush. Coming up. And over overlapping over the green you still want to see a little bit of blue sky as well so don't feel like you have to completely cover up your blue sky down here pink and white down a little bit this way 
slowly filling up that space. Still seeing some blue sky peeking through, starting to overlap over the green on the left side. down, then down. Then nice and full. You can always go back to more pink to make it darker, add more white to make it lighter. Be sure you have a nice combination of both. It looks nice and full. We just have a little bit of blues peeking through come down a little bit on each side. Um, there are some areas of um, flowers on the grass as well. So you can go in there with your pink and your white and just kind of push down. And just kind of looking up with your brush through, all kind of pointed up. More pink, more white working on this little area. There's not too much green on there. Pink and white. I'm having some flowers over here too, just kind of pushing down with my brush. It is absolutely up to you, but if you wanted to add a little bit of purple to your flowers, you can take a little bit of that, your dark blue and a little bit of your pink and mix a nice purple in there. Um, be very careful that that blue likes to take over really fast. So a little bit of blue goes a long way. So a little bit of dark blue and pink, if you wanna mix it, you can go in there and add some purple in there as well. get some more pink on my brush so it doesn't look so blue but that is absolutely optional if you wanted to add purple flowers in there doing just kind of building some purple on top remember a little bit of that blue goes a long ways so just be sure you just have a little bit and you're just kind of using the side of your brush to push down and Nicely. You don't have to really worry about the sides for your flowers. Building them mostly up front, making sure it looks nice and full. If you ever did want to go back, you could go back and add more greenery around it too. Kind of make it your own, like so. We'll let those dry for just a moment. We do have two little mini steps left. Um, 
this part is also optional. Um, I'm going to go back in there and add a little bit of white and light green in my water. Um, so if you wanted uh, to watch first um, before you did it and kind of see if it's something you wanted to add, you can. Um, you're welcome to keep working on your flowers. Take your time. Be sure it's nice and full. The, the fuller it is, the better it is. It just it makes it look a little bit more complete. It's a nice, beautiful summery painting. You want a lot of beautiful flowers in there. Uh, so I washed and dried my brush. I grabbed a little bit of clean white and a dot of that lime green. So just a little bit of white and a little bit of light green. Go back for more white. And let's see, I want to kind of grab some more white on there. So more white, a little bit of uh, light green. Maybe top some off on your paper towel. And then kind of go in there, do some sweeps of white and a dot of lime green back for more white it just kind of shows a little bit of that greenery in your water I'll add water to my brush to kind of help it move along a little bit easier so water tap 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 and go in there and just add a little bit of white and a tap of light green a little little bit just to kind of add a little bit of that green in my water and go back for more white. And again, that is absolutely optional. Can be kind of scary going in there with green in your water. And just a little bit of green and white. Again, that is absolutely optional if you feel like you're adventurous enough to add a little bit of green in your water. Um, but once you are done with your florals, and then if you choose to add white and a little bit of that light green in your water, you want to give your flowers some time to dry. But you are going to go in there and add some um, dark brown branches on top. You'll be using your small brush. And again, be sure your flowers are a little bit more dry than mine. I'm going to kind of continue on for the sake of the video. But small brush, a little bit of the brown and a dot of black, like how we did before with brown and a little bit of black. Make yourself a nice dark brown. And then uh, again, be sure your um, flowers are a little bit drier than mine, but I'm gonna go in there and add some branches to the right side and to the left side. Um, on the right side, I'll start kind of where my bridge stops on the top. so. Right in right here, about that far out from my canvas and the top of my bridge. And I'm just gonna make a line by barely pushing on my brush. My pink is still really wet. Sorry about that, you guys. Again, be sure yours is a little bit more dry. Make a line with my dark brown. And mine is seeping right through because it's still wet, but make a little bit of a curvy. Going up and to the left. And then a little bit of more dark brown. Going a little bit to the right, starting at the bottom, kind of making a V shape, like so. A little bit more brown and black, mixing it. So I have this V shape right here. And I'm gonna kind of break off into another branch right here. You'll almost see um, that Y shape or that V shape a lot and they're very curvy so be sure they're nice gentle kind of lines. I'll make another one right there. Again be sure your flowers are nice and dry. Mine are still wet. So I have this Y shape right here, another Y shape right here. They kind of go out and then split at the ends and I'll make one more starting here kind of going up. There's my branches for the right area. Again, wait for yours to dry. Make that V shape in the middle, kind of go out to the right, top left, kind of come down to the bottom. And then this one right here, you're gonna curve a little bit higher up. 
this branch is going to be falling down. And it's that same idea of a lot of the V shapes and the Y shapes. So let me add a little bit of brown and black on my brush. I'll start from the top and work my way down for this one. So I'm going to be up here and work my way down. You can go overlap over my bridge. So up here, I'm making a little bit of a curvy line coming down. And then I'm going to have some branches just kind of breaking off from it. So more brown and black mix. I'm going to break off that Y shape a little bit on that side. A little bit higher up, come down and break off the shape right there. I'll go back after mine's dry and definitely add some more brown and black on top. Be very gentle on your brush. Don't push too hard. Maybe another break of the branches right there. And if you are not in love with your branches, you can um, let it dry and then build some flowers on top of it. Make another little break off. Maybe this one right here, I'm gonna make break off like that. So it's almost like two upside down Vs. A little bit of a curve to my brush. Maybe right here too, adding another little curvy line. Like so. I'll probably go back and add some more brown and black. My brush, maybe even have one coming up from the top. So, maybe having another little break off from that one, like so. Nice little area right there. So, I have this main line right here. I have one, two upside down V's, and I have a line coming down right here, and then a Y shape right there. And again, I would definitely wait for my uh, flowers to dry a little bit more because you can still see all my shiny um, flowers in there. And again, if you do not love your branches, let your branches dry and then go back to that technique where you did some pink and white. And then you can just kind of lay overlap over your branches a little bit more. So you have them just kind of peeking through a little bit more. But be sure your branches are nice and dry before you build the flowers on top so your uh, flowers don't become brown. artists i think that is it for a beautiful painting take your time if you want to go back and overlap some flowers over your branches you can take your time with your branches be sure you're working up into those y and v shape um, upside down v shapes you want to go back and touch anything up just be aware that if a wet color touches another wet color it's gonna blend so sometimes we need to wait for things to dry before we build on top or next to them but otherwise your beautiful spring um i guess spring slash summer bridge painting is all done thank you so much for joining us and have a beautiful day